Hello everybody, welcome to Season 47 Chalice, oh my god we start with the Blitz um, Simply a Sensei and his Chofs versus Nepruha and his Skaven In the booth with me is Squirrel and Daedal, hello Howdy <laughs> Howdy Always nice when uh, Skaven get blitzed on Yes, a sweet bit of justice <laughs> Yes uh, did he blitz a wrestle and take the ball down? He blitzed a wrestle and with his strength four, not mighty blow player, and it wasn't the gutter runner he blitzed. Okay. Um, I am already bamboozled. I would have three diced a gut runner with mighty blow. But hey. What do you really know, Jay? That's a good point. Good point. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, we've got a we've got a movement eight, but edge six got a runner. That's insane, isn't it? And we've got a wizard as well. It's disgusting. Two uh, extra apple. Um, he hasn't got a lot apart from this gutter. To be fair, twelve players total. He does have a claw. He's mighty. got Palmer for elves and hobgoblins, but he's, he's got a claw mighty. There's just cast a yeah, bullet. <laughs> so he's he's got that. Um, yeah, tackle Palmer, and uh, just how good is that ball on you? Is that is that a no skill ball? If so, then I guess you don't have to, yeah. I just killed another guy. Oh my god. <laughs> what? There's the apple and the... Oh, that's, and the not a, that's not Fluffy a great apple. start. No. I would have probably started a little bit stronger than that if I was... Uh, sim simply? Yeah. I swear, there is no... <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, boy. Rest all the goddamn time. <laughs> It's ridiculous. <laughs> That's why I didn't blitz the gutter. He knew he was just gonna roll a one. See. Mm. <laughs> if only had armbar, it would have been a plus one to the armor and injury. <laughs> the old armbar. Yeah. Oh well, there you go. Kaz there. Is he gonna try and free up the the strength to hit one of the? Yeah, he's gonna try and free up the strength to hit one of the uh, storm vermin. Good play. Which is better though? Um, I think you can maybe control uh, the claw right now with like the bull, and so I think you go for the mighty blow. You yes, go for the palmer, maybe. I think. Maybe because you'd have two guards on him, and you'd have the strength four on him as well. So yeah, that might have been the play. But he's GFIing to hit the claw. <laughs> And there you go. Right decision. Yep, Roll better dice, so he's correct. Wow. I yep, pull yep. instantly in. Nice. As someone who's done it before, I'm going to just go and say that I'm worse, so that's probably the wrong decision. <laughs> Don't play like me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that, Apple. Yeah, I didn't know. Yes, but you know it's a big win con, isn't it? It's a big win con versus Chorfs to claw mighty them out, and that's why like the Blitz is kind of worth a GFI. It's a bit riskier, isn't it? And like the Tackle Pommer can can do work, especially in hobbles. So it's not like the Tackle Pommer's terrible. Uh, like it's you know what I mean it's not like the Tackle Pommer. So I would have just I would have probably gone safer and not hit him. I would have hit him if he was a claw pom. It is turn two, yeah, so he's getting a lot of value out of it this half, and maybe in the second half yeah. as well, right? Maybe he just stays killed. So it's. Yeah. it's Problem is he could foul you next yeah. turn and stuff, which he's going to. That, that's the main bad thing about the apple, right? Is that okay? He's, he stood in the wrong square. Absolute pinnacle raises a good point that it is hard to feel bad about Chorus getting banged on. I think which raises the bigger point that I don't think there are two teams that more people root against than uh, Chorus and Skaven. Yeah. Everyone wants. This is the uh, classic. Uh, who do you want to win? The meteor game. <laughs> This is weird though, I'd have definitely blitzed from this square um, so that I could have got the dirty player and fouled this guy and I'd have given him a foul with two assists. Yeah, he's got bench. I guess that leads you open to the rats going over this way, so this is stronger defensively. Oh, here we go. Back leading rerolls, if nothing else. I'm sure I've lost more to rats than I... Well, a greater percentage of my losses have been to rats than ch chorfs. Let's find out. I feel like there are a few people who play... Hmm, there are a few people who play rats 
and aren't very good with them for a <laughs> lot of games. Yeah. And there are people who just play chores because they can get Claw Mighty and Armor Value 9 and just kind of screw around and get some wins. Oh, it's pretty close. Six, 69% versus rats and 71 versus chores. Much better number against rats. This is looking pretty good for the Chorfs now, despite the horrendous start. <laughs> and this guy going. He did just get one of his good guys KO. Yeah, but the position's good, isn't it? Yeah. Like, bizarrely, like, I don't know how, because he's like, he's three men down or something. Yeah, that was a good player throughout, but he still has a Claw Mighties, which he should go and hit this, uh... Yep, there it goes. I guess it looks worse for the rats because those guys are down. I guess yeah. that's what makes it look worse. The actual standing players looks really good for the dwarves. But next turn when those down players stand up, it doesn't look as good for the dwarves, maybe. Maybe leaving his side switch a bit on for the... Well, yeah, a little bit for the gutters. Mm. But it's gutters, so it's kind of always on. Yes. He hasn't got many gutters. Just the three? Yeah. And like, two of them aren't very good. And one of them isn't super fast. So it's a little bit well, shit. Well, he's not gutter runner fast. Yeah. I mean, the the slow one is edge uh, six, and you know whatever the fuck he wants. So yeah, he's pretty good. Would you have? So here's a random question: Your movement aid, I'm assuming at this point already, and you do you take edge six or do you take leap? Because I, with agility five already, and yeah, that being your last skill. Probably leap, yeah. yeah okay. Right. What what was the other option? Sorry. Edge six. Agility six or leap. When you already have a Jolly 5. Six. There you it's go. It's hilariously strong. Yeah, I mean, I have had an Edge 6 Wood Elf Lyman and it was like amazing. You really can just do that. It's like playing at Snotlings all the time, right? You're just like, oh, look yeah. at your 2 plus, 2 plus, 2 plus. I just go yeah. wherever I want. Yeah. Yeah. All of the time. It's. I guess you wouldn't even, like, if you roll doubles, you'd strongly consider two heads, right? So, an agility six is yeah. 10k more expensive, but a little bit better, too. Well, it's a good thing he uses Apple on that KO, huh? Mm. <laughs> Guaranteed him uh, one more turn of action from the Claw Mighty. One or two more turns, I guess. He's getting to the point where he's got to do something now, hasn't he? This is pretty horrible. For me, it's rad, so he'll just roll some twos, but... And he can... It's... Does that bull have break tackle or tackle? It's got break tackle. Mm, doesn't have tackle, though. So recover and... Ooh, okay. And sure hands has kind of come too far up, right? So there's no... There isn't much recovery, even if it gets them down. Yeah. Yeah. So, and there's gonna be a Jody six to pick it up again next turn. Yeah. No matter what happens, if you don't, if you don't have the ball, and if he had, if he could get ball in hand, it's a lot stronger for him. But gets the pow. Yeah, big pickup can put in the reroll. Oh, he's at one. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he would have picked it up go... if he was at two. Oh. Maybe you don't go for that pickup. Maybe I you think you go for the pickup, you just don't re-roll it, probably. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, exactly. You go for the pickup, but not re-roll. Uh, yeah, this game of McDonald's. This game of McDonald's, maybe the pickup isn't as good. Ooh. Match six will just say, choose. <laughs> it's so, so stupid, isn't it? It's so dumb. And a turn after four or five turns, the chores looking great. They're suddenly all out of position and screened off from the ball. Yeah. With 
no recovery of any kind. Mm. He has no rerolls, but he's not going to be facing any tackle on the ball this upcoming turn, so it doesn't really matter. He can probably put it in on 7. He doesn't really care when he puts it in, really. He's, he just wants it in on 7 or 8, so... I mean, he just wants to score at this point, right, without rerolls against yeah. Chofs. He yeah. just wants to score. I think, I mean, the score feels pretty likely at this point, though. Obviously, the it's a two it's a, it's a two die on the ball, so he can just roll power. Like, let's not say it's too ridiculous, but... I don't know if that's the right score to have. Well, now I can stall, kind of. Ooh. He has break tackle, but agility one there did force him to use break tackle, so he couldn't do maybe a better square to block for something like that. So, it does appear to have mattered. Yeah, now you can just. Yeah, I didn't like the non reroll there. Uh... Saving it for the agility one one turn attempt, obviously. Yeah, yeah, that seems a bit fucking crazy. Double dodge. Yeah, double dodge. Hit is on. If he goes for it, maybe you just. Can... The other option is, of course, just the conceding the score and taking your mighty blow hits. Yeah, I think you've got to try. Like, you just have to try, right? The, the other one was different that one turn. <laughs> like, this is a mighty blow hit. Oh my god, that, that, yeah. that's mental. Like, that's mental. It's a mighty blow hit. This is, like, pretty likely to get to make the first dodge, right? 30% to just make it without pop and break tackle. And then. <laughs> Then okay. No, it's um, it's a six plus. It's a six plus to make it without using break yeah, tackle. Yeah, so thirty percent without break tackle for the first one, and then if you oh yeah 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 because yeah well it, it, kind of, and then uh, so it just depends. Like you just got lots of chances to like to get through, especially with dodge. So you should just blitz. Like that's a hundred percent. He rolled a bad dice, so he was he was right not to do it. That's yeah. How it works. Yeah. Yeah. Nice GFI, mate. Where did you get it? Yeah, he has to go for the double dodge. There's no, no question. Sucks that he's had one, but he's still got to go for it because your your other option is like a fucking one mighty blow hit. Like it's crazy. I don't think it, it's probably not even worth it, even if he has piling on on all those players either. Nah. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's true. And obviously, should have rerolled. Like that's insane. Not rerolling the previous turn, probably. Maybe he's insane's a bit harsh, but maybe like, you know, this cat hit the mouse or something. I mean we've also just all been it, it sucks, but it also could just be a didn't realise it was turn seven or something, and maybe thought he had two more turns, or thought it was already turn, you know, this is turn eight or something it just be scoring the next turn anyway. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it happens. Riot. Boy, howdy. Ooh. Boy, rowdy. <laughs> that makes it interesting. Just getting the bull hit by Claw Mighty next turn? Hmm. I mean, I don't... Uh, Claw Mighty eats blobs though, isn't it? So... Yeah. And he can also just hit a hop goblin with a mighty blow tackle, so I guess he doesn't have to. He probably wants to phase the bull tackle. He can help it. Well, facing bulls is weird <laughs> because it it lets them kind of like rip up your screen just by blitzing through, right? So, hmm. but you don't. Hmm. It's basically He's gonna have to clear off the ball. Yeah. I had forgotten that the Skaven Silva is a wizard too, so this is going to make the defense really weird. 
going to the next half. And the Skaven have, don't have a one turn, they do have agility six, so they can just kind of do nothing and then just get the ball if they want to. Yeah, this is what he was saving the reroll for. Yeah, now it yeah, looks brilliant. brilliant, doesn't it? Now it looks fucking brilliant. I think I would like the ball to be a little bit further up. But... Yes. But then there is the danger of the Saka just coming for you. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I would have liked Is he six squares away from everyone at least? I think he is, so to me it's just... Yeah, okay, it's, it's just a handoff no matter yeah. what, so it's probably yeah. fine. It's definitely yeah. fine, okay. I think, yeah. Yeah, hit the DP. That's that's good. Poms a DP. Should you pile on though? Yeah. Do you no. want the tackle near? Do you Oops. want tackle near? Full centaur. No. I guess that. So he's got a guard. Yeah, he's mm -hmm. got a guard. Blitz him. And then score. That's why I just didn't really yeah. care about the ball. Piled on. Like, this is the play to score, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah. 4 plus, 3 plus. It's yeah. pretty. 4 plus, 3 plus, 2 plus. It's pretty good. Yeah. Riot's a pretty, pretty fun event. Yeah, I fucking hate. I fucking <laughs> hate Riot. I genuinely hate Riot. There you go. It well is done. a fun event when you're the one riding. Yeah, yeah, when you're the one benefiting, yeah, but I'm sure Rick didn't enjoy the riot, and uh, I'm sure Napruha didn't enjoy the riot. I still feel bad for, like, my commentary during that game, if Rick is here, which he definitely isn't, because it's 2.30 in the morning. Well, <laughs> one thirty for you. Yeah. But the way we went on about how weird a decision it was to not score on turn four. Yeah. Or to score on turn four. But... I mean, in the end, I got fucked by the right. Well, let's not go on about it in a different game. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Joking, but yes. Yes, yeah, exactly. Try, yeah, I hate it the other way as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you've done all the work to get a two turn chance, and then the right just fucks you. It'll work now. Now, when it's like later in the clock, it can only add turns, and now when it's earlier in the clock, it can only take away turns. Is how it works, or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Which is whatever. <laughs> Another they couldn't find a replacement event, I suppose. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> well, now the chores can definitely just bang out the rats. Uh. Save for the wizard, yeah. Yes, there is the wizard. But it does six. completely change the tone of the half. Yeah. Before they were fighting to get it over time, now they're fighting just to win. Yeah. And end the game, so. Killed him. That's your player, mate. Good thing you got a foul off before the end of the game. <laughs> Apple, kind of a fail. Uh, it's a fail for the match, so which is probably more important right now, honestly. Well, yes, <laughs> but it's it's only kind of a fail, right? Like he isn't dead. Like yeah. if he wins, he's he's back in two yeah. rounds time. But essentially a fail. Exactly, yeah, like, so it's, it's, that's why it's sort of a fail, isn't it? <laughs> like, it sort of works, because, yeah, does it matter if it makes it a badly hurt? Maybe if it goes to overtime, like, if he stops the score here, but he's more likely to I score. I also wonder if it was even a good apple, like, I know it's a two, death, two. but if it was a, it was a, if it was an MNG, would you think an apple did it? Probably not, no. So, like, or is it, is the three more games of value from it? You're, you're hoping to get like that much value that you want to save mm. your reroll for 
your ammo for him and not uh yeah, okay. someone more important. Yeah. Yeah. I I say as things unfold, mm -hmm. they make the question more pertinent. But I mean even that that just increases the chance you lose in normal time anyway, doesn't it? So Yeah. And also, I just watched a coach not apo one of his best players because he has a one-turner protect yes. and that wasn't even injured and wasn't really at risk of getting injured and it probably did not help him win the game at all. So, yep. Mind you, that is a dirty player wrestle line rat and not a good player, but you know there is sometimes value in just trying to get keep players in the game. Especially if you're maybe thinking you're going to O2 so you think you're only one of the wizards, so you want to try and get your players. You want to keep your team as strong as possible for the next game. Just depends how you assess the equity, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. To be honest, I don't. I think this. I, mm, the Skaven probably need every player they can get because they're just a one player team trying to scrape through wins with the wizards. This, yes. this is not a good Skaven team. No, no, it's really not. Or at least it's not one of the good Skaven teams. Skaven always are dumb and always have a chance because gutter runners are stupid. Yeah, yeah this team could literally win Talus just off bolting and edge sixing every single round. Yeah, if it was a movement nine especially. Yeah. I, at some point, I might need to go play Skaven again just to remember how fast gutter runners are. Just for the <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, it's insane. Every time, every time it happens, you were like, "Oh, gutter runners sure are fast," and you play, and then you play them. You're like, "Oh right, they can go anywhere." Every time you don't play yeah. them for a while, you come back and you're, st and you're again amazed by how ridiculous they are. I mean, I was I have been playing Woodows for three seasons, and then I went back late last season to play Rats. It was so ridiculously easy. <laughs> Like, it's insane uh, having four movement nine players. I do find blocks can be hard to generate sometimes, but which is why I do like the Roger, because I like. Because I'm a blocky boy. So, I like the handicap of having a strength guy and make it easier for me to just roll two dice. Yeah, and that's the thing like with Rats as safe. well. Like, they're. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Elves, like even Wood Elves, like, you're. When. The difference between a good and a really good Wood Elf coach is the really good Wood Elf coach can like stay comfortably at like 10 to 15 blocks in the game, in that game, mm -hmm. like without it being close. Whereas like I know I tend to overblock. I like killing, like I noticed that I like punching things. Um, yeah. And rats come with the handicap that you can't dodge out, so you have to block. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> What's so that? speaking of overblocking, um, he just he just uses Wizard with the agility 6 not in range to pick it up. Yeah. That's insane. It's an interesting whole, decision. Maybe I just had a misread, but I thought the entire point of the team is that you um, have agility maybe snakes. Uh, yeah. That's a wasted wizard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. GFI, GFI. So he could, he could, he could get to it. Okay. And then lob it, lob it to the... Just me underestimating rats. So dumb. This guy. <laughs> but he, <laughs> he did, I don't know what, But he wasn't going for it, was he? He was going to blitz this guy and like come in this way. But he, what, maybe what he should have done was just run in and lob it to the, to the. Uh, thing. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't like it. Screen out in front of him, and they just. This, oh. Rats are dumb. Rats yeah. are so dumb. Yeah. Like, oh, he's, he's, he's 12 squares away, he can't get there. Well, actually, with two GFIs and <laughs> just a couple twos, he can just make a pass and win the game instantly. Yeah. What an interactive team this is. Thank you, Troy. It's a horrendous wizard. When you add that much dice to it, yeah. you're going to get a good wizard spot. Like, it's n that's the thing with rats. There is going to be a great shot for you to wizard. This team you in particular, there's basically... It. You just let them walk up to you, and you're just going to get the wizard. But yeah, now there's no wizard, now he can tight cage, and now he's just going to foul you for the end of time, which... This is the worst fouling I've seen in a little bit. 
But we saw some pretty good fouling in the two games. That is... That was awful. <laughs> That's 2,000 and nothing on that um, money book law. Yep. And, uh, yeah, Aguirre Week, so I, I do mostly just talk about it. Yeah. The, the playing it isn't very pretty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. One dice power, alright. Conservatively does not get it. And fails to dodge out. Doesn't kill himself. That's... So weird. You, I guess you now you have to play defense, but... And the chores do have a bit of work to try and score. They are an up yeah. three here. Rerolling that, that's a bit weird. I would have just punched this guy and gone down here, right? So that's a one and nine to get this claw mighty out of the way, which you have to do. <laughs> that's that we true. Blocked. No way! No way! <laughs> that ball feels like it needed to be a square or two further forward too. Yeah, I hate this. Fifteen squares further forward. I think that that where the ball needs to be the square ahead of that bull centaur is where it needs to be. Yeah. Yeah, because then imagine, imagine a one and nine on that ball. So I do not like having to. I don't like the. Because that way next turn you can just take like three or four squares and be fine. Now you need to take like a full five squares to get into scoring position. Of gaming can so easily just. Yeah, they're just gonna put in pressure on you, or they're just gonna fail every single dodge. <laughs> One square at the left, yeah. I don't think it matters a lot, does it? It, it couldn't be one square to the left Cast. when you still had the one in nine bot. To, to... Defending the ball is super easy. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now it's only six picks up the ball. Yep. No rerolls though. Gets the two plus. Turns and roundabouts. Yes, yeah, true. I, I hate, I hated that. Yeah. In easy, yeah, it was so... Space Cadet yeah, just saying that Protect I, I know. is too easy in Blood Bowl. I mean it is, but you sort of have to almost at least try a little bit. <laughs> Not if you're Space! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's in range yeah. still. Yeah, so, sorry, Trey, exactly, that was my point, exactly, I, I didn't realize that he was a 2. Oh, nice. <laughs> Problem solved. Did, did he not <laughs> GFI? He has no reroll, so I guess he figured he has just to give the hit. Not GFI to be on the ground, but... What a wild ending to a game. I mean, he had the GFI, Flesh. like, you can't just let him hit you. <laughs> like, you can't just let him 2D you with tackle. No, it's... yeah, it's not safe. I mean, he's about to give up... he's giving up a 1D, a minus 2D to a Russell on a 2+, plus, so... I think he's got to run and just get in there with, like, a couple 2s. Yeah, but... Just run around. Nah, he, he, had, he, had to, he had to make the GFI. Hit to do the GFI. How... how good is the Skaven one turn threat with, um... I mean, the player's down. Basically non existent board. now, because he just failed this dodge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's crap, because he's got to tackle everywhere, hasn't he? He's he has the he has four strength four, so all the bushes are going to suck, too. Like, there's no way to guard with the four, so. It was going to suck even if he didn't just score. Yeah. And his edge six is move eight. <laughs> Is that PKO rules? I'm just paying attention. I burn through his rerolls. He really just know. fail dodges like every like every third. Like he would do a couple actions and he would fail dodge every single turn basically. That's how. But, but did he need to make all those actions and reroll all those dodges? 
sometimes. But he was also, I think, once the wizard got him, he was just throwing everything to try and get a stop. Yeah, and get the game to overtime and give yourself a chance to just fall. It's such a shit. Yep. I mean, if he saw the wizard, he would have still lost. It's timing as well. Yeah, but it's the timing <laughs> as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm just large thought. Imagine if he saw the wizard. Oh, I think that might have been before, you know. But yes, if he had saw the wizard like on turn 14 or 15, that would be a much better game. But if he saw the wizard now, at this point... Yeah, that's when you video. want the wizard against a slow yeah. team like Shores that have to grind your way through you. Like, have the wizard as long as possible. Make them grind awkwardly. <laughs> and then... Punish them when they try to get in range. Diddle and master it grinding awkwardly. Yes. <laughs> You're doing it all night, tonight, and yesterday. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Jim and Squirrel seen on stream enjoying the benefits of him grinding awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Just random hits because you know why well, try i guess yep well i mean you, you fail right you you, you you know the place failed so that's it it's over isn't it why not just punch things yeah for 50 views already that's pretty good isn't it it's quite wild uh dungeons and dragons quite popular isn't it randomly i had no idea we, who who knew that D, &D was actually a uh a popular game or like pop cultural touchstone who could have whoever knew i i i never knew <laughs> literally i literally never knew i just thought it was all disgusting nerds anyway right. who the fuck do you think is watching your videos <laughs> and who has been watching your videos for 10 years <laughs> The people that I knew who played it were like the absolute worst people that I've ever met in my life, and I was like, "Oh my I god!" I does a lot when I met, considering who plays Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh yeah, way, way, like so much worse than the Blood Bowl people. Oh my god, like literally just the absolute worst. Anyway, congrats to whoever won. Um, the Chorf team. Simply a sensei. Simply a sensei. A He's still lovely straight. fella. Lovely fella. I heard. Um, from Dale well. just now, and no, he's he's been around the stream a bit, and uh, Nepruha as well, good cho good coaching. So it's a good 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 win for him there. Simply a sense. Yeah, good um, win against uh, a challenging matchup. I don't think the Skaven played it perfectly, but you beat a, you beat a Skaven team with a wizard and agility six. That's yeah. a hard game. It's a good one to have. There yeah, it's go. a rough one as your first chalice game. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Congrats time. to him. Thank you very much. Scroll and Daedal, glorious as always. Thank you for having me on. I'm going to leave now because I'm super fucking tired. Fair enough. It's 3 a.m. Um, but have a good one, chat. Have a good one with the next game. <laughs> Cheers. Have a good evening. Bye. And don't forget to watch the next video, you two. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. Oh yeah, stay fantastic. <laughs>